if other people are inspired by the sort of stuff that you do, uh, where's the best place to start if they're going to try and film wildlife in their garden? Well, I think I would definitely say a nest box camera kit. Now, the thing is with these nest box camera kits, it doesn't just have to stay in the nest box. And that's what really kickstarted me. You know, I started with that nest box. Um, but once the season was over, you know, end of May, beginning of June, it seemed a real shame that camera was just sitting in looking at an empty nest box for most of the year. So most of the kits you can buy now, you can actually take that little camera out. And whereas it's not suitable for filming um, like general wildlife, because it's designed to film in a very small space. Um, what I did was take that camera out, um, make a little box, put some seed in that little box, and that's how my mammal boxes started. And they've evolved massively over the last few years. Um, and in fact, it was the mammal box, ironically, that first got Springwatch interested. And I've done lots of bits and pieces with Springwatch since. But it was actually that little mammal box. And that was a simple nest box camera pit kit um, with the camera taken out and put inside a little box with two little entrances um, out in my hedge. And I was using the same kit. Or you can put it on a bird feeder, all sorts. So don't just think it's only for a nest box. Make sure you buy the kind of kit like Garden Nature and Handy Can do where that little camera, as long as it's water protected, can be put in a different container and start attracting different wildlife in. Well, it makes a lot of sense. And I have to admit, until you just said that, it's not something I'd even thought to do. So, it, yeah, why, why only use it for a couple of months in the spring when there's all kinds of uses for the rest of the year? So that's a really good uh, good tip to try out. And I guess as well, you've got things like trail cams and things like that you can put up in your garden and, and see Absolutely. what's lurking about. Oh, I, I can't imagine life without trail cameras now. I've got them all over the place. <laughs> um, so on my like hourly walk that I do, well, I tend to either run or walk very early in the morning. Um, once a week, I do the rounds and um, collect up all the cards from my trail cams and reset them as I go around. So that's just in, in my locality. But realistically, that's what I've been doing for the last decade or so. Um, I'm very much focused in my garden and what's right on my own patch, which is why I think, um, in a way, a lot of what I've done has become so popular because it's 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 not out of the realms of anybody doing it. You know, I'm entirely self-taught. I'm not, you know, a wildlife filmmaker, professionally trained. I'm just a keen enthusiast and, and have made the most of the amazing wildlife network of people who've helped me along the way. You know, if, I, if I'm not sure about something or I'd like some help with something, invariably there's somebody out there in twitter sphere or on the internet somewhere and and like how we met you know i've, I've met some incredible people by the internet um with similar love and passion for the natural world i think that's the great thing uh, about your gardens isn't it that it is that it is accessible and that anyone can do work you know maybe you can't walk so well or you're, you're you've got limitations or whatever anyone can get in their garden uh, and explore the wildlife there through through the technology that you mentioned with nest cams and trail cams and, and whatnot. Yeah, and so. even, if you, even if you haven't got a garden, I mean, I've got window feeders. You can put a nest box on a wall outside a window and have it wired back into your computer. Um, so, so even if you've got the tiniest space or a window box, I mean, I've seen stuff on the internet, people living in in blocks, um, sort of tower blocks, and having all sorts of birds, including peregrines, <laughs> coming and nesting on their balcony <laughs> because that that space mimics cliffs. So, I think don't don't think well where I live, I'm not going to get anything because you will. There's got to be something there. I I it, I can't believe that you couldn't find anything in a space where you live. 